Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. In the fierce competition environment of the global semiconductor market, China's chip industry is undergoing profound changes. As of the first 10 months of 2024, China's total integrated circuit, IC, exports reached 931.17 billion yuan, an increase of 21.4% over last year. However, just as China's chip industry is gaining momentum and achieving remarkable export results, a piece of news from TSMC has attracted widespread attention. Recently, there were reports that TSMC will suspend the supply of advanced artificial intelligence AI, chips to customers in mainland China. So does this mean that TSMC may stop supplying? China's chip exports exceeded 900 billion yuan for the first time, marking the continuous improvement of China's semiconductor industry's competitiveness in the global market. In the past few years, China's chip industry has encountered many challenges due to technology blockades, trade conflicts, and the complexity of the global industrial chain. Especially in the field of high-end chips, China has always relied on imports, especially advanced technologies from the United States and Taiwan. However, as China continues to increase investment and technology accumulation in the semiconductor field, especially the rapid development of 5G communications, artificial intelligence, and automotive electronics industries, China's chip industry has indeed gradually become self-sufficient and begun to provide more to the global market. Product China's integrated circuit exports will exceed 900 billion yuan in 2024. This achievement is mainly attributed to the following factors. On the one hand, the Chinese government continues to increase its policy support for the semiconductor industry and actively promotes the independent and controllable core technology strategy to strengthen domestic integrated circuit R&D and production capabilities. On the other hand, domestic chip manufacturers are improving in process technology and technology. Significant progress has been made in innovation and other fields, especially in the mid-to-low-end chips and 5G communication chips which have strong market competitiveness. For example, companies such as Huawei High Silicon, Yangtze Memory, and Tsinghua Unigroup have continuously increased the proportion of independent production of Chinese chips by continuing to overcome technical difficulties. At the same time, the domestic industrial chain in various aspects such as chip design, packaging and testing, and material production has gradually been improved, thus building a relatively mature chip industry ecosystem. Although China still has gaps in the production process of advanced process nodes, it has strong international competitiveness in specific fields such as mobile phone chips and communication base station chips. Although China's chip industry continues to develop, the global semiconductor industry is not entirely calm. The news that TSMC, has stopped supplying advanced AI chips to mainland customers, has obviously had a considerable impact on the industry. TSMC is the world's leading semiconductor foundry, producing a wide range of categories including high-performance processors and artificial intelligence chips. For China, TSMC has always played an important supplier role in the high-end chip market, especially in the fields of 5G base stations servers and artificial intelligence, and its chips occupy a significant market share. The direct reason for this action, as reported by the media, was TSMC's response to the notification letter issued by the U.S. Department of Commerce. In the letter, the U.S. government requires TSMC to comply with new export controls that prohibit the sale of certain high-end technologies and products to customers in mainland China. This policy is obviously a containment measure by the United States against China's technological development. Its main purpose is to prevent China from making progress in high-tech fields such as artificial intelligence, big data, and cloud computing, thereby threatening the United States' technological dominance.
TSMC is currently suspending the supply of advanced AI chips. But as the United States intensifies export controls on China's high-tech fields, the problem of China's independent controllability in the chip industry will become more obvious in the future. At the same time, although TSMC's decision to stop supply has had a certain impact on China's chip industry, it has also provided China with opportunities for further independent research and development and technological breakthroughs. As competition in the global chip industry intensifies, China will undoubtedly need to take more proactive measures in terms of technology, innovation and policy. Technology research and development will be a key factor in the future development of China's chip industry. At present, China has made certain progress in core technologies of chip design and production, but it still faces significant challenges in high-end chip manufacturing processes. Therefore, increasing independent research and development investment in core technologies such as semiconductor materials, advanced processes, and lithography machines will be an important measure to achieve breakthroughs in the future. In addition, policy support will remain a key factor in promoting the development of China's chip industry, and the government needs to continue to introduce a number of support measures to encourage domestic companies to increase R&D investment and improve the industry's innovation capabilities. At the same time, it is necessary to strengthen international cooperation, break down technical barriers, cooperate with more international companies, utilize external technical resources, and accelerate technological progress. Ultimately, the internationalization of China's chip industry will become the only way forward for future development. By strengthening the development of overseas markets, especially looking for new growth opportunities in emerging markets, China can gradually reduce its dependence on traditional suppliers such as the United States and Taiwan, thereby achieving diversification of the industrial chain and global layout. China's chip industry has achieved an export performance of more than 900 billion yuan, reflecting its strong resilience and innovation capabilities. However, under the pressure of TSMC's suspension of supply and the United States' increasing technological blockade, China's competitive situation in the global semiconductor industry is still full of uncertainty. In the future, how China's chip industry faces external pressure and promotes independent innovation will affect its role in the global industrial chain.